the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Stay awake, for you do not know when your master is coming. Dear friends, am I vigilant enough to prepare myself to receive my Lord into my life? At any time, he came. Let us prepare ourselves to receive Lord, into your hearts, into our life, at any time he wish to come. Dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray to for me to, me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to deserve what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on the place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers, your faith has been a great comfort to us in the middle of our own troubles and sorrows. Now we can breathe again, as you are still holding firm in the Lord. How can we thank God enough for you, for all the joy we feel before our God on your account? We are earnestly praying night and day to be able to see you face to face again and make up any shortcomings in your faith. May God our Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ make it easy for us to come to you. May the Lord be generous in increasing your love and make you love one another and the whole human race as much as we love you. And may he so confirm your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless in the sight of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus Christ comes with all his saints. The word of the Lord. Amen. Fill us with your love that we may rejoice. 
You turn men back into dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes, a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. you friends says the Lord because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father Alleluia. 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 the Lord be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, because you do not know the day when your master is coming. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had no at what time of the night the burglar would come. He would have stayed awake and would not have allowed anyone to break the wall of his house. Therefore, you too must stand ready because of the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. What sort of servant then is faithful and wise enough for the master to place him over his household to give them their food at the proper time. Happy that servant, if his master's arrival finds him at this employment. I tell you solemnly, he will place him over everything he owns. But as for the dishonest servant who says to himself, my master is taking his time, and sets about the beating his fellow servants and eating and drinking with drunkards. His master will come on day he does not expect, and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First are you, Lord God of all creation, thanks to your goodness to spread me offer fruit of the earth, work of our hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God.
our brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice today and for the grace and glory of his name for our good and the glory of his name O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us. We pray the gift of unity and peace in our church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god through Christ our lord his death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim Holy holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered in the one by the holy spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis o pope paul or bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face of mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ
through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles Peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but the, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant peace in unity peace and unity in accordance with you will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God Behold him who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are those who call to the supper of the lamb Let us pray. Complete within us, O oh Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son. and the holy spirit amen go in peace and announce the gospel of our lord thanks be to god